fellow yogis, humans, whatever you want to be called. Let's get started in child's pose. I feel like there are all these little thingies on my mat that are every day I shoot them off, every day they come back. Oh, I think that's a metaphor for life, right around. Immediately deepen your breath. Take your left arm and thread it across your chest under your right armpit. back to the center, press up to all fours. We're going to take another variation of that same kind of stretch, but from a more um, lifted position. Left arm is going to thread through. Your tailbone is high this time. Right arm will reach up. Some people can twist all the way like this with their hand on the floor behind them without picking up their knee. I cannot. Come back to the center. Other side. Come back to the center. And take three cow cat. We're gonna get into the lats today, which for so many of us are tight. My first thought though is for students like Bethany who have incredibly open shoulders, that this might be a little girl boring for you, and I'm sorry. But I know for like Kelly and I, oh, this is gonna feel good. So you're gonna grab your block. I don't know how many times to tell you, always have a block by you, always have a block by you. If you don't have a block, get a book. You need something hard, not a pillow. You're gonna lay uh, long ways. And you're going to rest over the block for women, like right where the bra, oh God, where the bra hits. And um, yeah, you're just gonna hang out here in immense pain. Just doing a little pressure point. If you can extend your arm, oh yeah, do that. It's, it makes it harder. Deep, full breath, right? For a lot of us, this is an intense uh, pressure point release. So right now it might be really, really painful, um, but when we release it, oh, you're gonna feel such relief. And if it's not painful for you, be grateful that it just means your lats aren't tight, they're not locked up. So anytime after you have like a sickness where you might cough or sneeze or anything, asthma, lung related, bronchitis, that kind of thing, do this because that muscle as you cough, the lats kind of like wrap around the front, wrap around, they're kind of protecting you. And that is actually like the muscle that helps you with cough. Anyways, so you wanna just kind of bring it back into wellness, into a relaxed state. And I apparently have not been doing that. Okay, so now we're just gonna gently rock back and 
forward. You're going to feel different sensations. So part of a healthy yoga practice is not just like moving the body ad nauseum in a flow. It's about true health and wellness, right? Health with the mind, health with the body, health with the soul. And so coming into a more static pose is still yoga. Okay, we're going to gently press up. And just pause, come to a simple seat, and just notice the difference on each side, right? Like I, I don't know if this is really not, but I feel like my left shoulder is already lower than my right. Like the lat has just like, oh, like you lower. Other side. Recognizing again, it's going to be tender. Ooh, yep, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, just, just as expected. Oh dear heavens. I'm really glad that I got over like trying to look cute on camera for y'all. That was a big concern for a while, and let's be honest in this pose. Probably got like six or seven chins, like a turkey gobbling down to the side. But it turns out that's my face. And just deepen your breath here. Allow yourself some release. So this is also really good. Um, we have length, you know, the drive that come down the neck and into the armpit and down. Um, we want to make sure that those lengths are draining properly. And so sometimes this little pressure point therapy, when we release it, we kind of get a flow going again. There might have been a buildup. All right, we're going to gently rock back. And then forward. And just a couple of times. When you get a point that's extra tender, extra spicy, just give it an exhale. Gently press up. Ooh. Pause for a moment. Just absorbing that release. Oh, okay. Inhale, arms up overhead. Interlace your fingers except for your pointer. And lean to one side. We do this standing a lot. But sitting gives us a different variation. As much as possible, keeping your shoulders stacking, not crouching. We're not a crouching tiger today. Come back up. We're going to lean to the other side. So these side body stretches, historically in yoga, are done in the evening. In the morning, we do front and back stretching, and in the evening, side to side, right, as if we did two practices a day to create balance in the body. And come back up. Beautiful. We're going to come into eagle arms. Start with the arms in a T. Left elbow under right. And then you're going to try to hold hands. Mm -hmm. I have decided to no longer focus on trying to hold hands in this pose. I'm just going to do my best. Every day I pretty much just quiver and shake even doing this. 
Maybe anatomically my shoulders can't do the pose. Banana tell you I sure want to. Release. Ooh, 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 ooh. Other side, so just other elbow under, other elbow over. Working your shoulder blades down and together and your elbows at a 90 degree level. And then pressing the arms away from the face. tuck behind your back and try to wiggle your fingers between your shoulder blades. Right arm will come overhead, reaching down as if you can hold your fingers together. So if you can, you're going to try to uh, close your hands if you can touch fingertips. I currently cannot. I used to be able to on this side. I don't know what's going on. Adulting, growing up, stress, trauma, tragedy. I don't know. All of the above. Multiple choice test. Life is hard. Your body gets harder. Your job is to get looser. Yoga helps. And gently unwind. Pause for a moment. Other side. Right arm comes up. I, because I'm so tight, I have to use my opposite hand to try to help like place my hand behind me. So let me show you what's happening back here. So some people can uh, grab fingertips here. What are all those memes that say like to women who can sleep through the night? What does it feel like to be God's favorite? That's how I feel about this pose. Like people who can um, hold hands. I'm like, no, oh, how does it feel to be God's favorite? Just being smart, you can't see. I don't really believe that. Couple more breaths. So this is not specifically the lats, but it's all connected, right? So as we loosen the tricep, the bicep, into the shoulder, then the lats can relax. And, and the same, as we relax the lats, then the rest of those muscles open up too. Gently release. Ooh. I'm going to pause again for a moment. We're going to come into reverse prayer pose. If this pose is very easy for you, your task is to inch your fingers to the back of your neck. You don't know what I'm talking about? You're about to. So, I don't know why I brought this block with me. I thought I was going to sit on it. Ah. Press the fingertips together. And make sure that you're sitting nice and straight. Now, if you, if even coming here, you can see there's space between my hands. I'm having a tight, tight shoulder upper body day. If even touching your fingertips is too much, if this is too much, you can work on just, I can't even do it, grabbing opposite elbows, okay? But pick it, stick it, and breathe. We've got about five more minutes, minutes, breaths here. I'm going to come back into pressing my palms together, getting into my forearms. Take a pause, notice how you're feeling. It's 
a lot of um, counter stretching to how we might stretch all the time. Okay, now press your palm forward, take your opposite hand and gently pull your fingers back. The goal is to have the wrist flat. Some people can press their fingertips all the way to their forearm. Go for it, rock it out, that's just not me. Release, other side. And release. Bending the opposite direction now. You're just pressing the wrist, flexing the other way. Same thing, some people can get their fingers to their forearm. Not your girl. And other side. And relax down. Last and final pose. We're just going to tilt the head to one side. Take the hand gently forward. Other side. Start by just tilting, then gently pressing down. And back up. Chin to chest, both hands gently pull down. My client Sharon and I used to do this every practice together. And let me tell you, I saw so much relief in my shoulders just by giving the neck some space. And every time I do it, I hear little crickle crackles. And I'm guessing my fascia is just like, oh, thank you. Rise back up. Come on to your back. Always Savasana. Always, always, always. Never cheat yourself from the ultimate pose. Begin to wiggle your fingers, your toes, making your way to a fetal position. Pausing for a moment of acceptance. That this practice is exactly what you needed today. Press up to simple seat. Hopefully 
feeling a little more fluid and mobile in the upper body, hands to heart center. And the place in me where love and light arise acknowledges that same place in you. Together we say, Namaste. Thank you, humans. We will see you tomorrow.